Today is Tuesday, November the 26th, 2013. Normal day for most people, but a special day for me. It's my birthday. I'm turning 43 today, and I can't believe the path the Lord has taken me down over the last decade. He has blessed me with a gorgeous wife and two beautiful kids, and now he is preparing the way for us to work as a family in South Sudan. For the last four months since we left West Texas, I've been training to be an aircraft and power plant mechanic. I already hold my pilot's license, and it's our hope to use aviation in South Sudan to partner with ministries there that need this kind of support. So it would go without saying that being able to repair the planes that we want to operate would be a big plus. And that's why we're here in Michigan, attending the School of Missionary Aviation and Technologies. So instead of drafting some long email that most people wouldn't have time to read, I thought I would make a quick video to capture this one day and try and fill you in on what's been going on. Most of my days start bright and early, about mm, 5.45, 6 o'clock. But this morning, it's time to get up a little earlier. I've got a special breakfast with uh, one of the young men in the school. So it's up, check on the family, make a quick lunch, and head over to the restaurant to meet him. Uh, nothing super special, just a little greasy spoon we like to catch a little breakfast with in the morning. He's a great young man and one of the uh, students at the school. He's uh, training to be an MAA. MMA uh, fighter and uh, yeah, but got a strong passions. Then it's off to the school, head head to my desk where I've sat for the last four months studying all kinds of things. Uh, behind a huge pile of books, I listen to Dean in the morning, and uh, he covers a lot of uh, electrical and uh, basic electronics. Uh, that also goes into mathematics, aircraft drawings. Uh, physics, weight and balance, materials and processes, cleaning, fluid lines, inspections, um, on into hand tools, basic electricity, safe grounding, uh, publications, and uh, even into human factors. All that has gotten me a grade of 93 over the last semester and this fancy gift certificate, I guess, uh, that allows me to uh, actually take a test this afternoon. This afternoon I'm going to head over and take tests, but before that it's out to the shop, do a little grinding and cutting on our electrical project. Uh, search for the right tools among all the new tools I've been able to get. Uh, praise God for that. I tell you, what a blessing. And. Uh, and then after that, out to check out the uh, hydraulic lines. Um, you know, always kind of reviewing for the test and uh, also reviewing for skill sets, whether we're doing safety wire or working on old planes. A quick uh, bite to eat with uh, peanut butter and uh, back into class with a surprise impromptu happy birthday to me song from the school and the guys in a thumbs up. Back out into the uh, hangar uh, where we're doing fabric covering of wings, uh, basic wing structures and tensioning. Um, after wings, we take a break for lunch. Lunch lasts about 30 minutes and then we're right back into third period. Review some of my old papers I got from aircraft drawings, and then it's time to have a small devotion out of Luke. Rod leads us in our devotion uh, just before welding, and it's a great way to just kind of break up the day. Off into welding class, we get prepped and ready, and uh, learning the art, I'm told, of welding takes time, so prayers for that would be awesome. End of day comes and it's time to clean up and time to head over to take my first FAA exam. Prayers, 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 please, Lord. And we passed with a 90% for our first FAA exam. All praise to the Lord for that one. Academics is not my big strong suit. Head out, head home, time to pick up the family and head over to nowhere else in town to go eat except... Applebee's. <laughs> Applebee's is the place to go. Uh, a quick birthday celebration, an FAA exam pass celebration. Beautiful, beautiful uh, gifts from my boys uh, with personal bowl letters of me and Keen flying an aircraft. A steak cooked to perfection. A stop at the store to get some salt to throw down at the house. A quick bit of birthday cake and a sit down at the table back home. This is a beautiful home that we've been able to have, and it's a blessing. Uh, jump upstairs, get the boys uh, dressed and ready for bed. A quick read of the boy who changed the world as uh, Keen tries to pay attention, but I think the, the little booger had a, a something going on that was distracting him. I'm not sure tonight. Uh, boys lights out, and then it's time to do a little work on the website we're trying to develop for a new ministry. 
So today has been amazing. It's the culmination of the first semester of learning and a celebration for passing. But so much more than good grades is this awesome opportunity we have to serve our Lord and Savior. So many things have had to come together to allow us to be here attending school over the next year. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's been praying for us. Please, please stay connected to us as we prepare to go to Africa. I think one of our fears is that we will be forgotten or that people will miss out on hearing all the awesome things the Lord is doing. Now, I want to turn it around. I want to pray for you guys, whoever's listening to this video. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that you give us an opportunity to make much of you in the world today. I pray that you would just give us uh, eyes to see those who are in need, a heart to proclaim the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, a steadfastness that will carry us through to the end. Lord, it is you, it is you who drives us. It is you who inspires us. So God, I pray that you would just lead us in your ways, Lord, as you always do and always will. Watch over those who are listening, God, and keep them safe. Inspire them to service as well. In Christ's name I pray. Amen.